Hey there, welcome to another Tableau video. I had just finished doing a mapping uh, tutorial of an office space, uh, so feel free to check that out. Uh, it basically takes an overlay of an image, right, like an office space like this, and it maps coordinates, like, you know, X and Y coordinates, and gives you a value, right? Actually, I'll just show you. It is, not that one, this one, right? And it gave me an idea to do a factory. Right in terms of how do you map the efficiency or the travel path in a factory? Okay, are we using like pretend we have a company, you and I, right? We're co-founders of Jellyman Incorporated, and we're trying to figure out how much time do we spend in the warehouse, where do we travel, you know, how long does it take, and so on. Right. So let's do an example like that. So I'm gonna grab this warehouse. Right. I'm gonna copy this image. Right, and we're going to come into, let's open a new spreadsheet, and we have to set up the coordinates first, okay? Come on, Excel, and now I just opened the second one. Okay, uh, first thing we're going to do is, just going to click on this part right here, and I'm going to make them all vertical lines, okay? Now, if you watch my previous video, on how to do this and you're kind of comfortable with it, feel free to skip ahead, right? But I, I do want to show this setup if you've never done it before, right? Then I'm going to go to format, I'm going to go to color, and let's go transparent color. And let's just click there. And what that does is it just makes it see through, it just makes it easier for me to actually set up the coordinates, right? So let's set that up about there. Okay, it doesn't have to be totally perfect, we can always adjust it later. And uh, let's just do something simple. So pretend this is the factory and we're going to map how much time we spend in certain locations. So I'm going to say first we unload. Okay. Then after that, we take it here. We go to the order picking. All right. We go there and then we do distribution, right? Come into here and then we disperse it here. And this is kind of where we spend the most time, right? And then in here, are the different positions that we're going to do, right? And then we're going to set like values in there to see how much time we spend in these locations. Okay. And we can also set like different people going to, um, you know, different locations and so on. So that's the first part. I'm actually just going to put a border on this. Then we're going to set the coordinates. So we go one, two, grab that fill handle, right? Let's go here. And let's go uh, two, three, and do the same thing. All right, my Logitech mouse upgrade. Okay, and then let's just drop this out of here. Actually, let's cut this. Let's go into paint and save this image. So I just want to crop it, get rid of all the extra stuff. All right, and let's call this factory. All right, close that. All right, now we're going to set the coordinates. And in my last video, I found to do it using concatenate works the best. So if I go equals concatenate, the first, oh, not concat, right, concatenate. Uh, I want the x axis first. So we're going to grab this one. And I'm going to lock the number. Oops, wrong button. Right. And I do that by using the F4 button. You can see that the absolute referencing is jumping around, comma. And we need to put a comma in between them, right? And then comma again. So this part here is I'm adding a comma, right? You got to put an apostrophe. Then I want to grab this one, which is my y-axis, and I want to lock the letter this time, right? So I have to press it three times. Bracket, and we're done. So that's the x-y coordinate of that particular position, okay? So let's go ahead and copy that to all these ones. Let's copy it all to these. Uh, I'm going to guess and say that there's that many of these ones. Oop, missed it. Okay. Let's copy this here, 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 and here. Right? Now, what we're going to do is I want to see, and we're going to use just random values, how much time we spend and in which bays. Okay? Because these are the storage bays. We get stock to come in, then we have to disperse it. Okay? And what I'm going to do is let's get rid of this part, right? Probably don't need that because the pathway is going to be like this, then like this, like this, this, like this, and like this. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to set is 
where it starts. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Then we're going to set, um, do you want to set pathways? All right. So that will be the pathway. Okay. Then in here, we're just going to set random values. So I'm going to go equals, um, we'll go equals random between 1 and, oops, random between 1 and 500. Okay. Again, we're just going to set some numbers in here. Okay. Do that. And we'll do that here as well. Okay. And then copy this and put it here as well. Okay, and let's just copy paste all these values, right, so that they don't change. Now, this is the route that we're taking, okay, and what we might do as well, let me just think for a second, should I put routes here? No, I don't need to, right, so these are bays, let's just call them bay. Let's call these bay as well. Let's see if I can get this one right this time. Yay! Right, these are bays. So now that these aren't formulas, we don't need this anymore. And we don't need this anymore. Okay. Then we're going to grab these and just kind of put them together. Okay. Just like that. And let's call these. Um, How much time would we spend here? Let's just say we'll put random function here as well. So we'll say one and 100. Okay. So let's copy paste that. Then what we want to do is call this, um, let's call it movement. Right. And then let's now put it all together. Okay. So that it's in a table format. Okay, and then this, I'm not going to put a number here, and you'll kind of see that why a bit later, if what I'm thinking is correct. Okay, actually, let's grab this, put it into a new sheet, all right, just so I can get rid of all this formatting. Okay, now I'm going to call this um, track type, uh, let's call this minutes spent. Um, let's move this one here. And I need to split this between X and Y. So I'm going to grab the whole thing. I'm going to go data. I'm going to go text to columns, right? Delimited, comma, next, finished. And that just splits them in X and Y. So let's call that X. Let's call that Y. And I think we are pretty much set to go. Okay. Now let's save this. Oops, wrong button. Let's call this factory time go save. All right, so that's the setup done. That didn't take too long, about six minutes, right? Uh, when you get a bit of practice, it actually is not that bad. Let's open another one. Okay, let's grab my downloads folder. All right, All right. Where's Tableau? All right, remind me tomorrow to that upgrade. And let's get, where is it? Factory. Okay, so we're going to bring that in. All right, we got our X and Y. Let's go sheet one and let's bring that in. So if I grab uh, X, put it there, and I grab Y, put it there, it's just going to give me one point because I am on sum. I want this to be on dimension. And as you can see, this is pretty much how our factory looked before. So the next step is to actually get that image in. So if I go map, background images, uh, factory time, Let's go and move this to the left again. Add image. And let's go ahead and look for that picture. Uh, I think it's this one, factory. And we probably went up to, I can't remember what we went up to, but let's set this to 100. Apply. That's 100 is way too big. Let's go 50. All right, let's set this to 50. Yeah, this is the only bit that I wish there was like little buttons here that can kind of let you adjust a little bit better. Let's go 30. 30. All right, slowly getting there. Let's adjust the x-axis. So 40 needs to be a bit wider. 
Uh, it's looking. How does it actually look? It actually looks correct. Um, we just have to adjust the the top one now. So forty. Uh, let's say thirty-five. Okay. How does that look? That actually looks pretty good. The only thing is, I've lost the truck. Right. So. Let's see if I can make this 50, what happens? No, I mean 20. Nope, I think we do have to just make it 35. Because I'm missing the truck here. Why am I missing the truck? Um, those are the bays. Huh, in any case, shouldn't be too bad. Let's make this 30 again. 40. How's that look? Ah, it really is 35. Uh, let's go 40. Oh, sorry, no, 40, 35. Okay, for the most part, that solves our issue. So let's go okay. Oh, actually, let's just set the wash out to be a wash out a little bit. Go okay. So that's pretty much our office space, uh, office space, our factory, okay? And these are the individual bays that we're actually spending time on. Now, the type that we set before can actually tell you that these orange ones are just transport. And then these are the bays. So neat little thing you can do in terms of coloring. Then you can also do, let's get rid of this now. What we want to see is how much time we spend in certain bays. Okay. So that we know if we need to uh, rearrange the bays. Yeah. Because if, let's say... We spend all our time in this section here. Well, why not move that to the front? Yeah, that's steps that we don't have to take. So let's grab minutes spent. Let's drop that on size, right? And then let's drop that on color again. And I want to change it to red, black. And the reason I like red, black is the black you don't look at, right? Because it's darker, whereas the red really comes out at you. So let's reverse this. Any time where we're spending too much time, that's what we got to do. That we got to move that. So let's go OK, right? And let's change this to a circle. Now, as you can see, we are spending a lot of time in this back section here, right? And a lot here. Yet we're spending a little time just on the front, which kind of doesn't make sense. Why not swap them, right? So all these really high traffic areas, why not bring them here or even here, right? Like. It kind of just makes sense. So let's just make that a little bit bigger, right? Now, one thing you can also do, and I hope this works because I haven't actually tried this, is to show these as a density plot, right? So if I go into here and I switch this to density, make this a little bit bigger, right? Oh, not too big. Uh, it didn't actually work too well, right? Let's change this color. Let's just see. I'm kind of just playing here. Uh, let's make it like that. Oh, it does work. It does work. All right. So let's just change the intensity like that. And you can actually see where all the hotspots are, right? Which are actually this grouping. You got some here, some here, one, two, but these are all kind of grayed out, you know? So again, a different way to look at your information. Now, the other thing is you can track the actual movement. Okay, so let's go back to just a circle. Okay, we got our circles. Let's make this small again. And we're not really interested in uh, the colors anymore. So let's get rid of that. Okay, I don't need that. And what I want to see is the actual movement, right? So that was the track number. So let's go and put that in. Actually, no, we don't do anything with that yet. You want to switch this to line. Okay, and as you can see, there's a line that connects them. But you want to drop track on path right and that actually didn't work very well but basically i don't want these points so we can actually just get rid of those okay for the time being let's exclude right that's really just all i want to show okay this is the path and what you can actually introduce is how much time you spend along the path so if i get that minute spent again and i drop it on size and then let's drop that on color and can we change this? What does this do? Oh, no, that's not what I wanted at all. What does bar do? Huh, how about that? Uh, what was I? 
nope, line. Where's line? There we go. And let's drop this to, yeah, let's leave it there. All right, and then we need to drop that one there. And again, let's introduce size and let's make that bigger. Okay. Uh, is that actually a good way to show it? Now let's get rid of that. Basically what you want to show is where do we spend the most time? And from the looks of it, it seems to be this area and this area, right? And even this one right here. Okay. Now you can probably also duplicate this. Okay. So if I make this one circles, right? And then I go dual axis, right? And then you have to synchronize the axis. Right, I can actually put pretty big dots there. So a neat little trick, right, to really emphasize what's happening at those spots. So it turns out we're spending a lot of time here, a lot of time here. So if I was a quality planner, quality engineer, I'd look at those two areas, right, and figure out what the hell is going on there and is there anything we can do. There's no point in me spending any effort on these two areas. We're not spending any time there, so it's not a priority. Right, but again, another way to view your data. So I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, I'm gonna hope, not gonna hope. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it gave you some new ideas of what the mapping can do for your work or whatever it is that you do. Um, be sure to leave some comments on what you think, or if you want me to map some other things, or any other things you want me to teach. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.